Christmas is a time of joy and celebration for everyone but me. This Christmas isn't exactly how I expected it would be. It all started last summer when my cousin met my fiance. Couldn't agree more. Excuse me first. Thanks. Layla. Seth, hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Um, better now that you're here. These investment crowds can be a little dull sometimes. <laughs> oh, where's Jack? He's off networking. He's hoping to land a new client. Ah. Uh, We're engaged. I heard. Congratulations. Thank you. Have you set the date yet? Well, I've always wanted to have a December wedding, but Jack thinks it's a little soon. I think it would just make it that much more special, though. Jessica? Layla. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing here? I finally opened my own boutique. One of my customers invited me. Apparently, this is a huge money crowd, and I, I need financial backing. You should meet Jack. He's a financial advisor in small business. Maybe he could be a big help to you. Did I hear my name? Jack. <laughs> Hi. Meet Jessica. She's in need of some financial advice, and your expertise could be a perfect fit for her. Well, let me give you my card. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks. Well, that's great. This was the exciting news I wanted to tell you. I'm engaged. We're engaged. <laughs> oh. This is my fiance, Jack. Oh, <laughs> wow. C congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, um, I guess I should introduce you guys. Uh, this is my cousin. Really? Jessica. I thought I'd met all your family. Oh, well, I've been living in New York for a few years, and then a short stint in Paris after that. Just moved back a couple of weeks ago. I, I just opened my own boutique. Paris? It's my favorite city in the world. Mine too. Why don't you two have a drink? Let Jack give you some free advice. He really knows your stuff. Sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. Couldn't be in better hands. <laughs> mm. What did you just do? Lorraine, you know how much I love Christmas and how I've wanted to be a December bride ever since I was... I know, hon. I just never imagined that I'd be going to my cousin and next fiance's wedding. What little girl dreams about that? I don't even know why I was invited. I understand. Well, then you understand why I can't go. Sweetheart, all we have in life is family. Look. It's you I'm thinking about. If you go to that wedding, it'll give you a chance to move on. You've always been like a mom to me. <laughs> I'm so grateful for you. I love you so much. And I don't want this to come between us. I love you too. And it won't, I promise. That's all I'm asking. Well, and come to your cousin's wedding. <sighs> I'll think about going to the wedding. I'm here for you. Glad to see you. I have a really big favor to ask you. Okay. My ex fiance is marrying my cousin, and because I'm family, I am expected to go to the wedding. Ouch. Will you go with me? I've sworn off love, and I'm not dating anybody, and I just can't bear the idea of going alone. When is it? Saturday. You got yourself a date. Thank you. Oh, you are the best. You just saved my life and my pride, or what's ever left of it. Sorry I'm late. Some personal stuff I've been dealing with. Mm, leave your problems at the door. No client wants to hear your tale of woe. And your boss is so overworked I cannot find the words. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Got it. 
Did you invoice for the Montgomery job? Yes, and I'm waiting for them to return my call. And uh, did you send back those mismatched sconces? The return receipt is on my desk. Good. I'm doing the Fletcher House for the holiday tour of homes. So start cataloging Christmas issues of magazines and avoid the traditional red and green. I want crisp, clean silver and gold. Well, isn't traditional the point? Things that remind people of happy Christmas memories. Well, not if you want to make a statement. Hmm. You disagree? I mean, <laughs> it's your name on the door. What do I know? An interior decorator needs a unique style. My work always says Darcy Sterling. You have a good eye. It's just not enough. Thank you. I don't get it, sis. Uh, I thought this is what you wanted. No, I don't want to be Darcy's assistant for the rest of my life. What I want is to start a business of my own. So what's stopping you? I mean, isn't it time for you to start living your own dreams for once? Oh, believe me, Beckett, it would be way easier to walk into Stanley Malcolm's office and demand that he hire me than to attend Jack and Jessica's wedding. Just do it. Walk right up to him, say hi. I'm a great designer. Show him your book. Don't you think that's a little bold? Yeah, it is bold, but you're bold, so be bold. I don't know, I can't even think about work. All I can think about is their wedding. Yeah, speaking of that, are you sure you don't want this guy as your date? Thank you for the offer, mm -hmm. but there's nothing more embarrassing than going to your ex-fiance's wedding than going with your brother. Besides, I have a date. Who? Cooper, my neighbor. Cooper. Yeah. Nice, good choice. Well, now that your date crisis is settled, I guess you can focus on finding a new job, huh? Okay, so keep the grays and then punctuate it with subtle blues. I want lots of textured leather and chrome. Substantial, but not dated. What about the windows? <laughs> you can't just summon inspiration. <laughs> I have to get to my lunch, so I need you to measure all of the offices individually. And then pick up the lamp for the Fletcher House that I'm doing for the holiday tour of homes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Layla, what a nice surprise running into you. Literally. Oh, I didn't realize you worked here. Uh, yeah. I don't need your help. I've done quite enough already. Uh, hey, I'm sorry to hear about Jack and Jessica. Not as sorry as I am. When I put them together, I had no idea where it would lead. Obviously. Do you know where Mr. Hardwick's office is? Yeah. Just down the hall. Thanks. Layla, uh, listen, since, since we're both going to the wedding, maybe, I don't know, maybe you and I could go together. You can't be serious. Ha, <laughs> I will take that as a no. Well, I already have a date. You have a boyfriend. Why? You want to introduce him to another girl? Look, uh, I don't want things to be awkward between us. We're way past awkward. But why don't we just go our separate ways and leave it at that? I got that for you. Okay? Yeah. Since he's wounded, he hasn't really done anything to him, right? So I think he should really, house, well, I think he should really do something. I, the house, it's his house. Hey, right? Seth, Seth. You know my wife. Of course. Uh, very nice to see you again, Mrs. Hardwick. Seth. She'd like to have a word with you. Are you familiar with the holiday tour of homes charity event? Uh, yes, of course. But I've never actually taken the tour. Well, visitors get to see all the holiday decorations in some of our community's loveliest homes. Mm -hmm. And the donations go to our school education fund. I'm chairing the committee this year, and we'd like you to participate. I wish that I could. Unfortunately, your husband keeps me so busy, I just wouldn't have time to decorate. You can hire someone. You may as well say yes. Joyce always gets her way. Then consider me signed up. Great. Happy wife, happy life. Oh, stop. Yes, sir. Okay. The tour is in three weeks. 
there are no particular guidelines. Just make sure the house looks Christmassy, you know? Christmassy. Hello? <coughs> I'm so sorry, Layla. They sent me home from work. Cooper, are you okay? You sound awful. I'm sick as a dog. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Wait, does this mean you're not going to be able to make it to the wedding? Is it there someone else you could take? Uh, no, I mean, you were my last hope of going with a date other than my brother. Now I'm going to have nobody to hide behind. I'm really sorry, Layla. I am. Um... No, don't be. I will figure something out. Feel better and get some rest. I don't mean to interrupt, I can come back. I just have to take some measurements of your office. Oh, go ahead. <sighs> no artwork, no personal touches. No distractions. You look upset. I mean, you know, more upset than before. What's the matter? I no longer have a date. What happened to your boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend, he's my neighbor, and he has the flu. Neighbor? Yeah, my neighbor. Well, there's always me. Are you saying your offer still stands? Yeah, my offer still stands. Why? You're reconsidering? Maybe. Maybe. I'll text you my address. Layla. So it's a date? No, it's, it's not a date. I mean, you're my date, but it's not a date. It's not a date. Okay, I can't decide what to wear. Which one doesn't scream poor, unfortunately, Layla? Mm, that one screams what was Jack thinking. Perfect. Yeah. We love that. Now. Last time I'm gonna ask, I promise, but are you sure you don't want me to take you? I know I'm not Cooper. I know it's not the same as having a date date, but... I actually do have a date. I'm going with Seth. Seth Murphy? The guy who introduced Jack and Jessica? Look, I really don't have time to go over details. I'm really late. I'll see you soon. Okay. Layla O'Reilly, you never cease to surprise me, and I do mean surprise. Layla, you okay? Mm hmm You look stunning. I just want to get this over with. You don't have to flatter me. Well, for the record, I never thought Jack was good enough for you. Stop trying to make me feel better. One thing. I don't like your shoes. At all. What? What's wrong with my... <laughs> Stop. We're gonna be late. I, Jessica, take you, Jack, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward for as long as we both shall live. I, Jack, take thee, Jessica, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for as long as we both shall live. If anybody can show just cause why these two cannot be joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thank you. Is this your date? Uh, yes. Well 
Well done. Thank you for coming. You okay? I'd be better if you'd stop asking me that. Hey, thank you, thank you. It was a lovely ceremony. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Are you guys together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. As a matter of fact, we are. Uh, we will see you at the reception. Congratulations again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What's up? You don't like the chicken? I... I'm just not that hungry. I think I need to go get some air. No, come on. Dance with your dad. Come on. Because of a someone who's lovely and then some it's one and only you. You know, I think I do need some air. Okay, honey. The wonderful person of whom I'm conversing is one and only you. Mr. Malcolm? Layla O'Reilly. Are you a buyer or a seller? I actually stage homes, and I was hoping that you would take a look at my portfolio. I work with some very experienced decorators. Well, maybe one of your smaller properties. I don't have any small properties. There you are. Seth! Stanley! What a pleasant surprise. Uh, are you friends with the bride or the groom? The groom, and you? Well, I play golf with the groom's father. <laughs> wow. You know Mr. Malcolm? Stanley, please. I stole Seth his house, and he was kind enough to send some of his clients my way. That's right. Well, I was just telling Stanley that I stage homes. That's right. From artwork to furniture to anything a house needs to really make the sale. Oh, yes. And let me tell you, she's very talented. And one of the best stages I've seen. Really impeccable taste, flawless. Wow, that is quite an endorsement. Mm -hmm. Ah, if you'll excuse me, I promised my wife a dance. Have fun. You know, that's not a bad idea. You want to dance? Come on. Hey, aren't we meant to look like we're a couple? Pretend I said something really funny. <laughs> I think you can do better than that. Don't tell me you're actually having fun. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe a little bit of fun. Good. You know, I'm a terrible dancer. Uh, I don't know if you knew that about me, but I'm really bad. <laughs> Too happy. That's right. Uh, I could watch you two dance all night. <laughs> Thank you. It's all about finding the right partner. Oh, my sentiments exactly, sir. Uh, Seth, you two really are a couple. Yes. It looks that way. And we couldn't be happier. I am just a little surprised. You you never even mentioned you guys were dating. Right. Uh, well, it, it just happened so fast. Thing is, I, I walked into work one day, and there she was, taking measurements to redo my office. And, well, just felt so right. And we started hanging out, and we've been together ever since. <laughs> it sounds pretty serious. Oh. It's as serious as it gets. We are engaged. <gasps> oh, that's wonderful. That's, that's wonderful good. news. How exciting. Why didn't you say anything? Sorry, we, we didn't want to steal your thunder for your big day. And it's time <laughs> to cut the cake. Oh. oh, that's our cue. Can I talk to you for a second? What have you done? I may have taken things a little too far. Yeah, you think? But. All those sympathetic looks you were getting before have turned into smiles. Imagine the looks we're going to get when they realize we're not telling the truth. I think that you are going to laugh about this one day. Not in a million years. Jessica and I would like to thank you all for coming <laughs> and for sharing our joy. And we'd like to extend our best wishes to Layla and Seth, who just announced 
their engagement. Congratulations, you two. You just made an embarrassing situation so much worse. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be poor Layla. Not engage Layla, who actually isn't. Wait, so what are you saying? The wedding's off? I'm gonna need you to take this seriously, okay? How do we deal with this? What, what, what do I tell my dad and my brother and my entire family? I'll tell him I did none of dare. The party was so much fun, I got wedding fever. Of course, because you can't tell them the real reason is because you feel sorry for me. That's not the wording I'd use. Close enough. Look, <sighs> I'm sorry, Layla. I really am. I'll call everyone first thing tomorrow and tell them it was a bad joke. Too much champagne and poor judgment on my part. Hey, I'll make it right, I promise. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, darling. It's Aunt Lorraine. I hope your happy news means that you and Jessica can bury the hatchet. Hi, it's your brother. You've taken keeping secrets to a whole new level. Call me. Layla, this is Stanley Malcolm. I was hoping we could have lunch. We could discuss your staging some houses. Bring your portfolio and bring your fiance. This is Seth Murphy of Denning and Hardwick. Sorry I missed your call. Please leave a message. Hey Seth, it's me. Don't tell anyone we're not engaged. Just yet. Call me. I could barely sleep last night. This isn't grand larceny. It's just, it's lunch in a white lie. Working for Malcolm Realty could launch my entire business. Then let's go to the lunch. I got you into this mess. This can be my way of redeeming myself. So we'd only be engaged for a couple more days. A couple days. Until I got the job. Right. But I'm gonna need something from you. Besides redemption. Consider this a win-win. I need you to decorate my house for the holiday tour of homes. You don't even know if I'm any good. No, but I know you. I know how hard you're gonna try. Besides, this could be great exposure. Might even drum up some more business other than Malcolm Realty. You just gotta make it really Christmassy. Okay. Okay? Got a deal. Deal. <laughs> now, Seth is a shrewd negotiator. He got his house at a remarkable price. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's it's gorgeous. Beautiful home. And Layla is an amazing stager. Can we show him, honey? Mm-hmm. Very nice. You really are very good. Thanks. Honey? Layla is doing my house for the holiday tour of homes. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're doing that. That house deserves to be seen. You know how Joyce Hardwick feels about the tour and her charity. I do. Can I get the bill, please? Thanks. I could do one of your current properties on spec. I would love the opportunity to work with you. You know, I think I'd rather see what you do with Seth's house. But that's three weeks away. Houses like Seth's are the pillars of my business, and I know he has done absolutely nothing with it. If you could transform that house, you just might get my attention. I love a challenge. Good. Sorry, I have to run. I was showing this afternoon. One of your clients. Thank you, Stanley. Good luck. Now what do we do? We stay engaged another three weeks. You get a job. Maybe I get a job. And I get my house done and get to impress my boss's wife. What do we tell our family and friends? See, that part could be tricky, but I think we can pull it off. Plus, your Aunt Lorraine loves me. 
Wow, your yard is so empty. <laughs> We're gonna need something really special. Like what? I don't know. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Can we go inside right now? Well, what's the rush? My boss is next door, decorating the house. Is that a problem? It is, if I want to keep my job. Wow, what a beautiful house. But it seems so unfinished. Well, I bought it as an investment property. It's already gone up in value. But this is your home. Yeah, but I'm never here. I'm working all the time. So you can afford a beautiful house that you can never enjoy. <laughs> Show me more. Okay. Uh, the only thing I use in here is the coffee maker. <laughs> the kitchen is supposed to be the heart of the home. I still do a little CPR. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I gotta get back to work. But you, you are going to need a key and. Thank you. Credit card. Do whatever you want. Warmth as far as the eye can see. And very, very. Christmassy. You love that word. What exactly does that mean? It means my boss's wife will be impressed. Gotta go. <laughs> see you. Bye. I am going to bring you to life. Thanks, everyone. See you in a couple of hours. Hello? Oh, hello, darling. It's your beleaguered Aunt Lorraine. Hey, what's the problem? Oh, well, it's the toy drive. It's simply overwhelming. I, I need your help. Uh, I'm a little busy at the moment. But I'll do what I can. Oh, good. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, my lunch break. Oh, uh, pick up the silver wreath for the Fletcher house on your way back. And uh, grab me a mocha latte, sugar-free. <sighs> oh, thank heaven you're here. There is so much to do. There certainly is. <sighs> Is it just the two of us? No, no, there's, there's help on the way. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, you girls have so much to do, and I so appreciate you being here. Leila, when are you going to let me take you shopping for a wedding dress? Soon. I, I promise. I've just... I've been so busy with work and the tour. Yeah, well... We've got a lot to do. Christmas is right around the corner. Let's get busy. <clears throat> so you two are family. And that's forever. You've got to learn to get along. You make meddling an art form. Well, at least that's... One thing we agree on. Well, the galling thing is, I'm usually right. This is not the way these things are done. Love doesn't operate according to schedule. Which is where good judgment comes in. When do we get to meet her? I'm gonna have to call Layla. She's, she's very busy. What does she do? She's an interior decorator. Actually, she's doing my house for the holiday tour of homes. What do you know about this girl? All I need to. Well said. On that note, I'm gonna go. I've got an early meeting. My mom. Bye. You let me know when you and Layla are available for dinner. Well, that looks suspiciously traditional to me. I'm making a Christmas quilt to use in the house you're doing for the tour of homes. Don't bother denying it. I saw your name on the list. I was going to tell you. You know, because I'm doing the Fletcher house, this puts us in direct competition. No, I don't see it that way. I mean, there are a lot of homes, lovely homes for people to look at. 
people like Stanley Malcolm. Every decorator in town wants a job with Malcolm Realty, including me. How did you get the Murphy house? Seth's an old friend. And we started dating, and now we're sort of engaged. Oh, I guess congratulations are in order. Thank you. It pains me to say this, Layla, but obviously we can't work together. Wait, are you firing me? You've given me no choice. I need those back. Well, I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> uh, well, now I really need Stanley to give me this job because Darcy just fired me. What? This is my fault. No, I'm just as much to blame. On the bright side, I don't have to deal with her ego or fetch her mocha lattes sugar-free. <laughs> well, maybe it's for the best. I really got to get back to work. The tour is less than two weeks away, and as you can see, I still have a lot to do. I like what you've done with the fireplace. <laughs> Thanks. You should use it sometime. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> you got some. You got some dirt on your face. Uh, there. Huh. My dad called. He invited us to dinner tonight. Okay. No, actually, it's not okay because he thinks we're engaged and my brother is already suspicious. And what about your mother? Uh, she actually passed away when I was a little girl. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. She always used to make the holidays so special and she would turn our entire house into this virtual winter wonderland. She'd make her own decorations and the whole place smelled like cinnamon, and hot cider. What was your favorite part of Christmas? Everything. The whole spirit of Christmas. My mom always said it was the time of year that everyone cared just a little bit more. What, and you still feel that way after all these years? Of course. Tell me about your family. My family. Well, Let's just say that my dad, he didn't care too much for the holidays. What does he do? He's a retired investment banker. He worked most of his life. Not a lot of father and son time when I was growing up. But I looked up to him, so I followed in his footsteps. Well, this year, brace yourself for all the Christmas you can handle. <laughs> the O'Reillys still go way over the top when it comes to the holidays. I think I'd like that. Uh, I'm not much of a cook, but I enjoy it, especially this time of year. <laughs> well, everything was delicious, sir. Mm -hmm. So, when did you and Layla meet? Uh, we met three years ago doing community theater. I kept going hoping to see more of her. I remember you singing at the top of your lungs, and you were the worst singer of all time. <laughs> He's the only person I know who can turn Les Mis into a comedy. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> and what happened? I went out of town on business, and by the time I got back, Layla met Jack, and I lost my shot. Well, why didn't you ever ask me out? i just come out of a relationship. I needed a little time. I assumed you weren't interested. I was very interested. I just couldn't undercut Jack. I was born in a suit and tie. But you got me to loosen up and have a little fun, albeit off-key. But that was my favorite summer I can remember. I wish you would have told me that back then. So do I. Yeah, so do I. So you two are about to get hitched and the stuff just never came up? Oh, yes, of <laughs> course it did. We just, um, we don't like to dwell on the past. Mm -hmm. We like to focus on the future. The future. Future. Speaking of which, when's the wedding? Yeah. What? Well, <sighs> um, well, we've... We've, uh, we've, we've talked about it a lot. <laughs> um, we were thinking 
June, June, right? June. So we said June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. June wedding. So not in, not in December. December. No, oh, December's a little too soon. Is that? But, but Layla always wanted to be a December bride. Yeah, you, I mean, you you knew that. We can. I'm sure he did. <laughs> Obviously, I I told him how much. I love Christmas, and Mom was a December bride, and with all the love and joy in the air, what better time to get married? December. Remember? Uh-huh. And every year, how we watched White Christmas on TV, and with all the singing and the dancing, and everyone falls in love in the end. Well, I mean, you have to tell him. He knows. You've seen it. It's Gene Kelly. Bing Crosby. Ben Crosby. It's no big deal. It's just your fiance's favorite movie of all time for her entire life. Who's ready for dessert? I am. Yeah, mm. let me give you a hand with that. Okay. What's going on? What? What do you mean? Your dentist knows you better than that guy. I'm not buying a word of this. I'm not. So it's a fake engagement. Promise me, hey, look at me. Promise me you won't tell anyone. Tell them what? That my sister's had a little too much eggnog with her fake fiance who also broke up her real engagement? Very funny. <laughs> He's not so bad. Yeah, unless you like honesty. You know what? People could say the same thing about me. Good point. I don't know. He's, he's a really nice guy. I know that look. What look? Are you starting to have feelings for this guy? What? No. Maybe you're not being honest with yourself. Maybe. I tend to do that a lot. I mean, with Jack, I knew, I knew all along. We were drifting apart, and I just kept hanging on to this fantasy of being a December bride. What about Seth? I don't know how I feel. I know that I don't want to get hurt. That I believe. <laughs> can, can you pass me a cookie tin, please? Yeah. The tour is only one week away, and I haven't even finished a single room yet. What do you think? It's a big change, but a very merry one. I'm not sure I'm man enough for this. I should be older and wiser. Are you kidding? It's perfect for you. Try it out. <sighs> and what exactly am I supposed to do in this chair? You're supposed to think great thoughts. Huh. Well, I'm thinking great thoughts. About what? about my grown affection for all things Christmas. It's hard to resist. Authentic. Yours is shiny. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Uh, hi. More donations. Jessica asked me to drop them off. Oh. But I'm glad I ran into you. Uh, why? Because I'd like a, a, a chance for us to talk. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. But I'll take the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I got it.
Oh, you two were so close when you were little. That was a lifetime ago. You shared your dolls. You shared your clothes. <laughs> but not our fiancés. You were so outgoing and friendly. I wanted to be just like you. Everyone always wanted to be your friend. You never told me that. I couldn't feel any worse. If that helps. I had no one to talk to. Not even Aunt Lorraine. And I wasn't going to make her pick a side. Layla, sometimes your mother and I wouldn't talk for weeks. But then, you know, eventually we'd just sort it out in the end. I love you both. And we're family. And family should always try and work it out. I want to be family again, too. Oh, I gotta get going. <laughs> Mom, is she ever going to forgive me? Well, I think you two just made a big step. Yeah. Yeah. Are you playing? Let me try this again. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Oh, you're home. Hey. Yeah. I had to work late. Uh, this is my neighbor, Cooper. I was unable to get a delivery truck, and Cooper went and picked up the chairs for us. This is Seth. Oh, yeah. Your fiance? That's me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So you are you're the one that got the flu? Yep. Listen, thanks very much for helping Layla out. I appreciate it. No problem. I gotta get going. Sure. I owe you dinner. <laughs> oh, really? That's okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm just gonna go walk him up. Great. Yeah. Thank you again for all your help. Uh, no problem. I guess you really are engaged. That guy's in love. Oh. Drive safe. So you like the chairs? Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Now people have a place to sit if they have a piece of pie or coffee or you can eat your breakfast here. It's Cooper. He seems like a nice guy. Oh, he's so sweet. And he's your neighbor. Just your neighbor. Yeah, he's my neighbor. And my friend. Why? No reason. Tell me. Look, I know we're supposed to be just a fake engaged couple, but I gotta be completely honest here. I just didn't like it when I walked in and I saw you two together in my kitchen. Are you jealous? Maybe I am, a little. This is too much reality for a fake engagement. Fair enough. Let's keep things light and fun. Light and fun. It's getting late, I should, I should probably go. Wait up. All I'm really trying to say is that everywhere I look, I see Christmas, and I see you, and I love it. So. I should go. Sure, it's not.
that too much? No, I think it looks good. <laughs> Woof. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some pine cones from the box of pine cones. What am I doing? <sighs> Get the hundred thousand Holly. <laughs> Bravo! It's beautiful. This is much more fun than work. <sighs> Tomorrow I'm thinking we should get the tree before all the good ones are gone. I just have to stop and get some ornaments on the way. Great. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 <laughs> la 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 la. Maybe you should sing at the tour. Maybe not. That is the biggest tree I've ever seen. Yep. You know, the one concession my father had at Christmas time was to choose the biggest, most expensive tree you could pay someone to get. I'm glad we did this. See, we were opposite. We would get the smallest tree from the supermarket parking lot. <laughs> We'd keep it alive until January, and it became this member of the family. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you need a hand to that? Uh, no. I got it. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Whoa, whoa! Oh. Do you need a hand now? Uh, if you insist. <laughs> you give it to me. Okay. Okay. Three, one, one, two, three. three. Oh. Oh, Got it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, slivers. <sighs> now that is what I call teamwork. I'd say this calls for two cups of hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've earned it. <laughs> Why the smile? Because this is what Christmas is all about. Here. Thank you. Ooh, watch your hands. It's not about the finished product. It's about the process. The hanging the stockings, the decorating the tree. These are the things we'll remember. Well, my mother always hired someone to decorate the tree. <laughs> What's she like? My mom? Yeah. Uh, she's as charming as my father is proper, but he would be completely lost without her. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> did you make those? My mom did. Well, they're beautiful. They are, aren't they? <laughs> she would make gingerbread cookies every year. And whatever we didn't eat, we'd hang on the tree. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite memories. Sometimes I feel like they're just, I feel like they're slipping away. Do you want to help me string some popcorn? Well, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> it's actually really fun. Okay. Okay. Hold string? This. String? Yep. String? So, like. <laughs> I fall in my mouth. You're not supposed to eat the decorations. Okay. <laughs> okay. String it on there. String like... it on there, yeah. Ready? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. oh no, this is this so is, good, I can't this stop is, it. <laughs> this is my last bag of popcorn. Okay, you do it like this. Voila. Voila. <laughs> this is a good memory. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when will your mom be back? I I think she wanted to give us some time alone. Okay.
Do you remember fashion model Barbie? <laughs> sort of. What she lacked in substance, she made up for in flair. Kind of like me. Are you waiting for me to contradict you? I'm waiting for you to forgive me. I never meant to hurt you. I fell in love. I never wanted to lose you. I miss you. I miss you too. I mean, maybe all this is the way it's meant to be. We both ended up with the right guy. Maybe so. I know Jack feels terrible and, and would love to talk to you. Let me think about it, okay? So where's your engagement ring? I'm dying to see it. It was too big. <laughs> I was hanging a wreath and then it just slipped off and so then we took it to the jeweler and then we got it back from the jeweler. It was too small so now it's getting sized again and yeah, we should have it back in a few days. How's everything going? We're making progress. With you two making up, now we can spend the holidays together. And then there's Layla's wedding, whenever that is. <laughs> it's too late for a December wedding, so don't even go there. Who said anything about a December wedding? <laughs> <laughs> no more meddling. That's what family's for. I mean it. Oh. Everything looks so beautiful in here. It's very Christmassy. Well, that's good. It should be. The tour is only five days away. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna buy some gifts to fill the stockings with so that they don't look just like props. Great. Great. You know, Jessica asked about the engagement ring today. Oh, yeah? She's not the first one to ask. Should I get some costume jewelry or something? Oh, it's Darcy. She wants me to stop by the Fletcher house. She's not even my boss anymore. I don't know why I'm so nervous. You'll be fine. Okay, don't touch anything. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Okay. What are you doing with this yard? I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Is that why you wanted to see me? <sighs> my silver ornaments never arrived. I'm not saying it was intentional, although it crossed my mind. Well, I ordered them before you fired me. <laughs> I suggest you call the vendor. Ran into Stanley Malcolm today. Apparently he sold your fiance his house. That's right. How long have you been together? Odd that you never mentioned him. I'll be right in, honey. Okay, honey. Seth and I were just about to have dinner. Okay. I'll see you soon. Soon. <laughs> Put your arm around me. Let's pretend to be a real couple. Oh, I can do better than that. <laughs> we're practicing for the big day. Oh. <sighs> You know, Darcy's been talking to Malcolm. Oh, then we better put on a good show. <laughs> Speaking of which, check out the stocking on the right. <laughs> Why? What did you do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was my grandmother's ring. Oh, it's beautiful. Perfect fit. Yeah, it is.
Hi. Hi. Well, thank you for agreeing to meet me. I remembered how much you love the lattes here. True. <laughs> Jack, I'm not... I don't really know why you wanted to meet. Jessica told me that you two might be mending things between you and... Well, I need to mend things with you too. Layla, I, I really never meant to hurt you. Well, then why did you? You always expected the best of me. It was a lot to live up to. I didn't mean to pressure you. I know. I just, I just... You just, what? We never really took the time to get to know each other. And on, on a lot of times, it, it felt like we were just out of sync. And then you were just so wrapped up with wanting to be this December bride that... That I never really saw you. Maybe that was on me. Look, I, I just know I want you to forgive me. I handled everything badly. We talked about this. Is everything okay? I assume you guys were just in the neighborhood? Oh, you know how I can't stop meddling when it comes to family. Layla, we are both just so happy for you and Seth. We'd love to have a dinner, and maybe we can all start over. Wow, uh, I don't know what to say. Just say yes, and we'll make the plans. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I am so pleased. <laughs> My family is finally coming together. And Seth is a wonderful man. And that couldn't have been very easy. No, it wasn't easy. But you know what? It was telling. Because after all the anger and the resentment, Maybe he just wasn't the right guy for me. No, oh, honey. I could have told you that. The moment you danced with Seth. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> Gingerbread cookies. I tried. They smell amazing. Uh, I'm not great at the icing part. <laughs> um, here, try. Mmm. Mmm? Mmm. Uh, too much cinnamon? No, I mean... Maybe a little. <laughs> Not like your mom's. But just as sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. So, let me tell you something. I've decided not to sell the house. When did you decide that? Just now. You've turned my investment into something more valuable. A home. And I'm home now. <laughs> Someone has very bad timing. Yes, they do. Hey, Dad. Hi. I called your office this morning and they said you'd gone home for the day. Yeah, yeah, I'm at home helping Layla. We hire people for that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I made gingerbread cookies. I think it's time that your mother and I met your fiance. Please make your mother happy and come for dinner tonight. Okay. Great, see you at seven. She coming? Yep. <laughs> oh, good. What are we having for dinner? Oh, oh boy. Is everything okay? Fine. 
we're just gonna be having dinner with my parents tonight. Bring cookies. Lots of cookies. Doing Seth's house for the tour of homes must be very challenging. Seth's been a big help. Just don't ignore your obligations at work. Ever the romantic. You obviously make my son happy. He can't stop talking about you. And that's all that matters. Very happy, Mom. I hope I'm not being too forward, but I have so many ideas about the wedding. She never stops talking about it. Listen, we, uh, let's, we haven't even set a date yet. Well, a mother can dream, can't she? I have a wedding planner I'd love you to meet. Oh, it's very nice of you. And a wonderful source. Oh, I hope you like lilies. Lilies are nice. Or, or roses, whatever you prefer. Flowers can add so much to a wedding. And then so can the music. Perhaps um, a string quartet? I got some samples from a bakery. They specialize in wedding cakes. Oh, they look lovely. Let me know what you think. I'm partial to the red velvet. Perhaps you'd prefer gingerbread. Oh, Layla, I'm sorry. Am I being too pushy? Yes. No, I, no. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just a little overwhelmed. Yeah. Layla, she's got a lot on her plate. So why don't we just, let, let's talk about the wedding after the tour of homes. Of course. But I can still help with all the details. Oh, well, that's very, very sweet of you, but totally not necessary. Oh, don't worry, dear. All my planning and bending your ear, it's just my way of saying, welcome to our family. Cheers. Welcome to the family. Cheers. Your mom is so nice. Every compliment, every piece of cake, I wanted to slip right underneath the table. This thing has gotten way out of hand. Yeah, you think? It's not about getting a job anymore. This charade has taken on a life of its own. It's too late to take back now. I mean, how would we ever explain it? We'll pretend to break up. Oh, that's Jessica. Hello? Hi, Layla. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Hey, um, how about the four of us go for dinner at Bonami, like we talked about? Oh, that's so nice of you. It's just, I'm so busy with the tour of homes. I haven't had a second to breathe. Oh, well, that's okay. I mean, we could, we could do it after the tour, maybe Sunday at 7? Yeah. That sounds good. Okay, great. See you then. Bye. So Jack and Jessica just invited us to dinner at Bonami. Another dinner as a fake couple. Hmm. Well, can't be any worse than the last ones. We only have two days left and the yard is still so blank. There's just so much empty space. I don't know how to fill it. Well, maybe, maybe some Christmas trees or, or snowman. No, it needs to be original. We need to make it stand out from the other houses. Well, I got it. We can use your dad's plastic Santa. That's it. I was, I was joking. No, not Santa, his sleigh. <gasps> that would look so good there. It's the perfect spot. Now, how do we find a sleigh on such short notice? I will find you a sleigh. <laughs> really? Yeah. How? I have no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh, Darcy is watching us again. Let's give her something to see. I wanted to get that in before we break up. Right. This is what you choose to do with your time. Uh, I can't find a sleigh. I don't understand. 
for the front yard. I promised Layla I'd find her sleigh. I have to question your priorities. Just when I got them straight. You're missing work worrying about some yard ornament. Look, it can't be all about making money, Dad. Or some role I'm expected to play. I want to... I want to enjoy my life. Think about it. Why didn't we spend more time together when I was growing up? Hmm? <laughs> I once asked my father the exact same question. And what did he say? He mentioned his busy schedule. All I really remember was his lack of regret. I never meant to become that kind of father, Seth. Never. Never too late to break the mold. One more day. Yeah, and I still haven't found your sleigh. I turned Christmas into a race against time. How did we get here? Fake engagement, praying to our families. Yeah, well, maybe if I had asked you out before Jack did, we'd be engaged for real. Maybe so. But we'll never know, right? Right. There's no happy ending. We've complicated things. We just need to break up like we planned. If that's what you really want. It doesn't matter what I want. At this point, all that matters is I don't want to hurt my family. I have to go meet my Aunt Lorraine. Okay. You look exquisite. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you decided to wear your mother's dress. I should take it off. Oh, no, no, wait. For wait. What? Oh, I was hoping that putting on the dress would be the prompt that you needed. What do you mean? To be a December bride. I know how much it means to you, and you're running out of time. It. Honey, what is it? I have something I have to tell you. Okay. Seth and I are engaged. Well, well, those tears seem real. How do you feel about him? After everything that happened with Jack, it's... Honey, love requires a leap of faith. And in my experience, it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Dad? I think you should call this number. Uh, I don't need another client. I'm a little busy right now. He's my former handyman. Oh, to help with the house? No, he's retired. <laughs> Why would I call him? Because he's got a sleigh. Wait, you, you found me a sleigh? Dad, this means everything. Uh, uh, where's my phone?
this for me. Actually, I had a little surprise help, but yeah, I did it for you. My lady. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> The tour begins in two hours. Hey. Hi. Got a call from Seth. Said you could use a little help. Come on I in. I thought it might feel more like the holidays with family around. Wow, nice house. Sure hope you guys have us over for Christmas dinner. I'll get it. Hi. 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 We understand you could use some extra hands. Oh, so glad you're here. Come on in. Go. I'm sorry the tour hasn't started. Hi. Hi. George thought you could use some help. Oh. Hi, Mom. Sweetie. Come on in. Okay. Hey. Hey, Dad. Dad. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot. This sleigh looks great. Okay, who wants to sing some Christmas cows? Deck the halls with bows of holly. La 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 la. <laughs> Like father, like son. <laughs> oh, it's time. Guys, the holiday tour of homes has officially begun. Focal point, playing off the contrasting shapes like three-dimensional modern art. <laughs> Trying to get Christmas into the 21st century. Well, everything is quite striking. Hmm. I should be going. I have many more houses to see. Captivating than the next. I couldn't agree with you more. Blue spruce. <sighs> well, Layla, you've certainly transformed Seth's investment. Still true to the charm of the house, and now it feels like a real home. The sleigh was a nice touch. Oh, truly inspiring. You've really done a great job. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Seth, this is the prettiest house on the tour. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Hardwick. I couldn't agree more. In fact, I'd like you to come work your magic for me. I've got four houses coming on the market that need staging. Seriously? That's a dream come true. I hope to keep you very busy. <laughs> Can I hug you? All right. <laughs> thank you so much, Stanley. <laughs> uh, apparently, Traditional is still in, <laughs> if you like that sort of thing. Well, as it happens, I do. It's the feeling that a house gives you that's most important. Modern isn't your thing? I'm afraid not. Congratulations. You two enjoy your holidays. Thank you, Stanley. 
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I got the job. Congratulations. <laughs> I did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> Thank you. Mrs. Hardwick was <laughs> so happy. <laughs> I mean, her charity was a huge success. Everyone seemed to love it. You know, the longer we wait, the harder it's gonna be. It's time to break up. So what's the plan? We'll have a fight. And then a couple days later, we'll tell everyone the engagement is off. Okay. We could do it at dinner with Jack and Jessica. What are we gonna fight about? <laughs> we'll have to make something up. I got it. You hate my singing. <laughs> no way, never. That's your best feature. Uh, that's gotta be something believable. Oh, I work too much. <laughs> that's not entirely true anymore. What workaholic has enough time to string popcorn? True. But look, it's a pretty common problem. People are gonna buy it. So I work too much. And I hardly ever see you. Then we'll just improvise the rest. Done. Done. Uh, excuse me. Such a beautiful bride. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> you sure know how to keep a secret, don't you? Why didn't you warn me? Oh, that would have been too easy. <laughs> Here's to happily ever after. Cheers. We are so happy for you. Can I steal her for one moment? Excuse us. So what do we do now? What do we do with everyone here? We stick to the plan. Besides, everyone's already here. We won't have to repeat any performances. Right. Right. So, uh, who's gonna start the fight? I will. Okay. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, it's... It's Seth. Look, I don't think we should be really having this conversation right now. See, that's the problem. It's never a good time for you. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think we should be doing this at all. What, what are you doing? crazy about you. Seth, that's definitely not part of the plan. I know. But I love you. What did you say? I'm saying that I am in love with you, Layla. I think I love you too. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. That's good. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, then, one more thing. 
Layla O'Reilly. Will you do me the honor of being my wife? Yes. Of course. Wait. Wait, wait. Am I missing something here? Everything. She's gonna be a December bride after all. as long as we both shall live. I, Seth, take the Layla to be my December bride. To heaven to hold for as long as we both shall live. Thank you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wednesday through Sunday night. Sounds like a plan. Big stars, including Kristen Davis, Eric McCormack, Shirley MacLaine, Melissa Joan Hart, Alicia Witt, and more. The five-night Thanksgiving movie event. It all starts Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve at 8. Part of Countdown to Christmas on Hallmark Channel.